Hey, welcome to Pause on Purpose, and we're right uh, in our second day of walking wisely in the last days, and we're going through five parables that Jesus uses to talk about this, and we know that from our Sunday school days, a parable is what? Should have done this yesterday, but let's do it today. A parable is a heavenly story with an earthly meaning. In other words, Jesus gives us stories that illustrate a principle or a truth that he's trying to get across using earthly means. So the parable of the seed and the sower, uh, the guy who knocks at night on a friend's door. Uh, and now yesterday we talked about the fig tree. And today we got another parable, and that's the parable of the doorkeeper or some might say a porter, or you might even say in today's uh, world, it's the security guard. What, what, what parable is that, you're asking? Well, look at Mark 13, verses starting in uh, 34. Jesus said, the coming of the Son of Man can be illustrated by the story of a man going on a long trip. That's referring to Jesus. He went back to heaven. And when he left home, he gave each of his slaves, that's you and me, our ser his servants, instructions about the work they were to do. And he told the gatekeeper to watch for his return. See, one of the assignments was for one of his servants to be a gatekeeper. See, back in those days, you didn't lock the door. There were no locks, but you gave somebody an assignment and they watched the door through the night. That was their job. They couldn't fall asleep. Uh, if they were caught sleeping, they were uh, fired, um, if not worse. And so they, the slave was to give a, uh, to watch for any kind of um, uh, breaches in security, uh, burglar, whatever, whatever it might be, and uh, shoo them away. So Jesus says, you too, in verse 35, must keep watch. There's our word again. In other words, stay alert, keep your head on your shoulders, for you don't know when the master of the household will return in the evening, at midnight, before dawn, or at daybreak. Uh, by the way, those are four watches through the night for Roman culture. There's the evening, that's three hours long. At midnight, that's another three hours. Before dawn, that's another three hours or at daybreak, that's another three hours. So four times three is 12. So it started at 6 p.m. and go through to 6 a.m. And there you have the night watches. Verse 36, Jesus says, don't let him find you sleeping, meaning the master when he arrives without warning. I say to you what I say to everyone, watch for him. That is repeated throughout. So here's a couple lessons or principles for us to walk wisely in the last days. I've already given you one of them, but let's go back through it because I don't want you to miss it. And that is watch. Keep your head on straight. Don't get caught up in distractions. That's a big one. What distractions? Well, back in Mark 13, he talks about those. There's false teachers trying to mislead people. In fact, Mark calls them wandering planets. They don't know what they're talking about. And so when they talk to others, they get them confused and rattled, but they do it on purpose to distract them and to deceive them like a, like a planet. A sailor who's using a wandering planet to find true north will never find it. And so we need to find our true north, and that true north for believers is Jesus Christ. So that's the first lesson. Stay alert. Keep your head on your shoulders. And the second one is he gave the doorkeeper an assignment, and he said, be faithful until I come back, right? In fact, he gave an assignment to all the slaves, all the servants, not just a few. Now, here's a key lesson for all of us. Jesus Christ has not only given us spiritual gifts, but with that, those gifts, he's given us an assignment, a job to do in the church. Now, when we say in the church, that could be your nine to five job, because your work is your worship. 
and how you work is a display of Jesus Christ to your co-workers who don't know Christ, who would not normally darken the door of a local church. So you bring the church to them. And so Jesus says, be faithful there. And it doesn't matter what your role is, and it doesn't matter when you do it, but be faithful. Don't get caught up in distractions. Those are two good lessons. And the third one is, know this, even though we know when he's coming, meaning he could come any minute, that was the last parable, his coming is near, we do know that. What we don't know is the exact time. And anyone that sets a date and a time, run away from them. Just walk away from them. They don't know what they're talking about because this parable tells us we know the Lord is near, that's the fig tree. This parable tells us we don't know the day and we don't know the time. So go with God because he's with you and walk wisely in these last days.